Lao eighty six here. Um, with today's episode, uh, Taste of China. Is that what we call it? Taste of China. Mm. Okay. Taste of China. No, that's a no. It's not bite of China. Bite that's of the China. trademark one. Taste of China. Taste of China. We yeah. that we rip them up. Uh, Taste of China. Uh, this segment is called Fruits You've Never Heard Of with a guy you've never. Wait, what is it again? <laughs> it's it's uh, <laughs> fruits you've never had with the guys you've never heard of. <laughs> the guy you never. That's no, it. that's not what it was. <laughs> no, it's fruits. No, it's fruits you've never heard of with a guy who's never had them. Yeah. Why? Of course, was, they've heard of us. They've subscribed right. to our channel. My mistake. Anyway, uh, today on the menu, these are all things I I haven't had one of these things or two of these things, and Ben hasn't had all of these things. My first. So this time. is going to be really good for you guys out there. Um, we're going to start with what should we start with? This since it's already cut. We've mm-hmm. already cut this open. This is a jackfruit, and it comes, it's massive. What you'll see, I'll put a picture in here, jackfruit. It looks like that. And inside, when you take it apart, it actually takes a lot of work. It has this rubbery, would you say rubbery? Yeah, it's, it's a very bizarre consistency. I don't it's know like, what this is going to taste like. It's like, like soft it. plastic, but it's not sticky or wet at all. Like, your, your hands don't get sticky. Right, yeah, it doesn't at all, actually. Yeah, that's why it's so plasticky. And it smells like flowers. It smells like chrysanthemum. Yeah. A little bit of banana. Banana-ish, yeah, like a banana flower or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. And I guess they kind of like like uh, that flowery floral gum that Chinese people chew. Mm. Oh, yeah. Kind of like that. Anyway, let's try it. Mmm. Mm. It tastes exactly like it smells. Yeah. Very... Yeah. Fragrant. Yeah. Very fragrant. And there's a pit inside here, but it's pretty easy to get out, actually. Mm. There's a little pit there. Kind of cool, actually. Can you get it? Yeah, I'm too yeah. lazy to go pick it up. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah. It's made for, right? It's really good. Oh, weird. There's like this little sack. This little sack inside. With the, the pot. Ooh, that's poisonous. Huh? Little yeah, a little sack inside. inside. The, the it's almost like this is like a piece of a flower or something. Mm. It's, it's pretty tasty. It's not poison. It's not poison. You can eat it. You can eat it. You can. But, but we need good. to cook it. Oh. Mm. Jackfruit. In Chinese, you get the proper Chinese from Vivi. Bolo mi. Bolo mi. Bolo mi is jackfruit. You should definitely try it out. You should. It's pretty good. Recommend it. Mm. Mm. Good summertime fruit. Yeah. It actually takes a while to eat. Mm-hmm. It's very thick. Mm. I would say, like, if we're gonna review fruits, yeah. I would say that's a six and a half, that's a seven out of ten. Yeah, I get that seven. seven. That's seven, seven out of ten. About. Next, we have our sanju. Sanju. These are called mango steams. Mm. And what you do is you rip them open like this, and you have this kind of really messy red, red business going on. And inside, come close. You can see we have these white pods. Looks like garlic. Looks like garlic cloves, yeah. White pods here. And how you eat them is you just take one of these pods off. You know, like that. And it's absolutely out of this world. Mm. One of the best fruits I've ever had, and that's why I bought it. I've had it before, but it's worth getting every time. You don't have to worry about any pits. I'm gonna eat the entire center. There's no seeds or anything? No seeds. Really? Ben's got it here. Yeah. You're gonna be surprised with this one, I think. Okay. I think you're gonna love the mango steam. Okay. I'll just pop that whole thing in if you want. You can eat them by section by section, you can eat the whole thing. Super, super sweet. Mmm. Isn't that tasty? Wow. That's that's like a otherworldly taste of fruit. Mm. That's delicious. It's so soft. It's like it's like so, silky. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, like a pillow or marshmallow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very sweet and super sweet and very like juicy and like mm-hmm. it's like a sharp sweet. Like when you put too much sugar in your tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. Great fruit. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten actually. I'm gonna say that's a, that's an eight. The the texture was it was very different. Oh okay. Very different. Next we have an, uh, a wax apple. This is a mango steam, by the way. I think I said that right. Mm-hmm. A wax apple, which is called in Chinese. Bian Wu. Bian Wu. Very good. Uh, you're supposed to be helping us back here. Sorry. Fruits you never heard of with a woman that forgets to do commentary in Chinese because <laughs> she's useless. Uh, wax apple. These are very rare and usually, oh, they're actually, they're found in a bunch of Southeast Asian countries, but mostly in Taiwan. 
These are the really rare kind from Taiwan that people will pay up to five to ten dollars each piece for. Wow. So we got one of the best ones for you guys today. You can eat the skin, and inside actually, it looks kind of like a water, um, something like a honeydew melon actually. Mm. The water consistency is massive inside of these bad boys. Very wet. And inside there's this flossy like substance here that actually you can eat, but has absolutely no taste. It tastes like air. So you can cut that out if you don't want to eat airy stuff. I'll just kind of get that. And then what you're, yeah, what you're left with is all this. And this is all the fruit. It's just like eating an apple. Mm -hmm. Just like how you wouldn't eat the core. Huh. That's delicious. <laughs> right? You like it, That's right? very good. You eat the whole thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Just go for it. Mmm. Mmm. That's wicked good. That's awesome. That's it's like, like a, okay, this is my, my impression. Yeah. This is like a Korean snow pear, mm. but with the consistency of a melon. Uh, maybe, maybe stealing. She so stole bad. the jackfruit. I'm getting so bad. I'm gonna say, yeah, uh, the wax apple. Mm. Um, eight out of 10 for me. What about you? Mm. That's so nine. nine. He, I think he loves the crisp. Mm. You love the crisp? Mm. It's delicious. If you cut this out, you ate the middle here. Mm. It's a little bit of a strong taste. It's not, it's like a little bit of a chemically taste or something. Mm. I mean, it's not that bad, but when you cut that out, this this is the really delicious oh, yeah. part. Right on the outside. Right on the outside. Mm. As opposed to the inside with the most fruits. Yeah, that's true. Last thing we have, the last thing we have is a custard apple. This is a, a different kind. The kind that I was looking for is not in season, so this is a different kind. It can also be called a sugar apple. Uh, so we're going to cut this open. Uh, in Chinese, this is called a... Fan li zhi. Fan li zhi. And there's also the other kind that you should look out for that I'm sure is delicious. It's called... Fan gui lao li zhi. Fan gui lao li zhi. Okay. Let's cut this bad boy open and see what's inside. Look. Oops, that was a bad cut. Oh, okay. I don't really know what to do with this, to be honest. Yeah, that's a dilemma that I encounter with a lot of new fruits down here. I have no idea how to eat them. We have a lot of uh, the camera lady. If she could tell me from behind the camera, how would I eat this? Never had this before. Take a bite to try. Take, can I eat the outside? Try. <laughs> I think that means no. You don't eat the outside. <laughs> Just like hack off a piece of the white, I guess. All right. This is very expensive too. Paul Bunyan, this shit. Yeah, let's try this. Let's go in here. Mm. Yeah, no, the whole white. Oh, the whole white's so good. Better that's towards good. the middle. Oh, uh, okay. Mmm, let's try that. That's really good. I'm, I know why they call it a custard apple. That's delicious. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. sweet. It's very, it is custardy. Yeah. That's that's appropriate enough. Yeah, I, I was very, I was so surprised when I came down here because, you know, up, up north, right, there's not really fruit to speak of. On the off season, right? right. Like they're not at this point where everyone can just refrigerate shit and get it shipped in for whatever they're not, not right. money. But when I came down south, it was like, like I just assumed that because I've been shopping in American supermarkets my whole life, that I knew every fruit. I was like, yeah, you dummy. There's apples and oranges and bananas. And, and if you want to go crazy, there's star fruit. Yeah, there's star Whoa. fruit and guava and stuff. But there's not. There's tons of different fruits. T here, my no. recommendation: take a bite right out of that middle. Right. That's what you want to do. Okay. Let maybe try some too. Mm. See? Mm. That's the good spot. Mm -hmm. There's some seeds in there, but it's tasty. That's a lot of fruits you want to get right in the middle, mm. I think. That's delicious. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm gonna say another I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten. Mm. Super, super sweet. All these fruits very sweet. These are rambutans. Uh, Rambutans are from Samoa, uh, Thailand, Cambodia, Indonesia, and Malaysia. And in Chinese, they're called Hong Mao Dan. Gosh, my Chinese. Which means uh, hairy red pellets. Hairy red pellets. Uh, you yeah. can see these hairy red pellets. They look crazy. <laughs> they look like uh, this Dungeons and Dragons monster that has these eyes. I don't know. This 
really nerdy. I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> that was what funny. I was gonna say is they look like some kind of weird space alien food you'd see on. Yeah, like a space Wars alien food. Yeah, yeah, they're like eat some rambutans. Oh, yeah. try the rambutans. From Zebulon. From Zebulon six. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. We're actually gonna eat them. The rambutans. I, I'm, I think they're supposed to crack them. I've never had these before, so they're supposed to crack them open. Oh, the inside looks like a lychee. Mm -hmm. like a lychee. They're also called uh, what? Actually, it's really different from the Very sweet, but less juicy than the Yeah, more solid. More solid, more solid yeah. Um, the inside pit isn't black like a lychee, it's kind of like an almond. It looks like a little almond. Mm -hmm. and it has kind of like a case around it, which makes it a little less palatable than a lychee, but easier to open. Mm. And pretty tasty, just not as refreshing or as like sharp. They look way cooler. They look cooler. They're pretty delicious. They're pretty good. Yeah. I give that a seven. Mm. Pretty good. Seven.